What's going on people, it's your boy The Boxing Lowdown and I'm back here with another video. Now as always guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Feel free to drop a comment if you like and I'll happily get back to you. Now let's talk about it man. Eddie Hearn has uh, made some headlines again and uh, this is with regards to Conor Ben and Chris Eubank Jr. Now we know that they've been trying to make this fight for a long time and um, even after the, the controversy surrounding Conor Ben and all the drugs tests and whatever, we know, we know that situation. But... Eddie Hearn said on this IFL TV interview that they're looking to stage the Conor Ben Chris Eubank Jr. fight this year or early next year. And um, I'm suggesting, I mean, they proposed a date of December 23rd, but that is the proposed date of Fury and Usyk. And there is no chance that um, they're going to put those, top, those two fights on the same day. Not happening at all. So Eddie Hearn has said we're looking at either December the 23rd or January for it. And it was going to take place in the UK, which is pretty interesting because they're not going to get a license by the British Boxing Board of Control. So that would suggest that they will aim to get a license probably from the Luxembourg Commission or one of the other foreign commissions out there, which is legal. You are able to do that. So you are still able to stage fights over here in the UK without a British Boxing Board of Control license, which is not the recommended route, but it's something that could happen. So uh, yeah, unfortunately, if Eddie Holm wants to make it happen, I think that he will have enough demand uh, from the public to for it to happen. Despite everything that's been going on with Conor Ben, um, you know, people are still going to tune in. They're still going to tune in. They're still going to look into this fight. And I think it will still do big numbers despite everything, you know, which is a shame because the ideal situation would be for Conor Ben to be fully cleared with everything. Um, and there's no room for any doubt or anything. And then we can move forward with this fight. And then, again, this fight for me is not one that I was calling for. It's not one that you know, it doesn't really make that much sense to me outside of the fact that, you know, they are both got their famous father's surnames, they're the sons of their famous fathers, but they're in different weight divisions. You know, they weren't on that path of fighting each other or anything like that. It's literally just one of those fights where it's just going it, to, it appeals to the casual fan. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, it will, it will draw a lot of people in. But in terms of the actual fight, you know, it, it's a weird one to make for me. Not one that I was calling for. Chris Eubank Jr. is a middleweight. Conor Ben is a welterweight. You know, we have weight divisions for a reason. I've stressed that many times, but, you know, it just falls on deaf ears. You know, people just go ahead and make these catchweight fights anyway. So I think Conor Ben said that he will move up to 160 to fight Chris Eubank Jr. So it wouldn't be a catchweight fight, but it will be a fight where Conor Ben has never stepped foot outside of welterweight before in his life. We saw Jamel Charlo try and do that when he jumped up to super middle. And we saw what happened to him against Canelo. Um, you know, Conor Ben and Chris Eubank Jr. are not Canelo Alvarez. We will say that. But, um, yeah, it's looking like that this could get done. And I think they're going to wait and see what happens with uh, Fury and Garnu and the announcement after that as to when Fury and Usyk will be. Because it's very likely that with Usyk being there in attendance, they are going to announce the date for Fury and Usyk, providing it all goes well, providing there is no issues or injuries or anything like that with Fury when he has this run out with Ngannou. So fingers crossed, nothing happens there. Now, your thoughts on this particular fight? Should it really happen, man? Um, you know, I have my doubts, but listen, I'll be honest, I'll probably tune in regardless. And, you know, that's the that's the sad thing about it, right? Um, we're all correcting our morals and, you know, saying that this shouldn't happen, but Eddie Hearn's probably going to pull it on and we're probably all still going to watch it, you know, despite what we're all saying. So, yeah, I guess we'll wait and see what happens with regards to the, the date and, you know, when this will be announced. But Chris Eubank Jr. coming off that great win over Liam Smith. Uh, I've seen him on making quite a few public appearances now. Um, he's getting his name out there. His name's always been out there, but, you know, he, he's been showing up more often. And I think they're trying to capitalise on it. Conor Ben having that run out, it's starting to make sense now that, you know, he had to just get some some rounds under his belt until, you know, before he fights against Chris Eubank Jr., you know, because he'd been out of the ring for quite a while with this floating over his head. So I guess that was the reason why. And I think that they're going to capitalise on that now that Chris Eubank Jr. defeated Liam Smith. And I can see this happening uh, early next year, unfortunately, uh, without Conor Ben's name being cleared. So let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below, guys. Should this be happening or not? And I'll catch you guys on the next video.